Rose has a massive audience from around the world for her videos on Chinese history and the Chinese zodiac. Here to tell us about the year of the dragon and whether or not you might be lucky in 2024, please welcome Helen Lee. <laughs> Me here. Oh my gosh, thank you for being here. So you're on TikTok and you have over 74,000 followers and 1.4 million likes. That's huge. Thank you. Yes, congrats on that. Thank you. Did you ever think that going on TikTok and sharing your, your knowledge and everything would, would garner this type of success? Honestly, no. No? Yes, <laughs> in the beginning I had, um, during COVID, that's when I started my Chinese history account. Yeah. But in the beginning, I actually started off with my personal account yeah. at Hey Helen Lee, and mm -hmm. then I ended up separating into two accounts because I didn't know what I wanted to do on that specific account. Yeah. When I posted a Chinese history video yeah. that, I, that I randomly just did one day, yeah. it blew up and the audience loved it and mm -hmm. they wanted more. So that's why I made a separate account mm -hmm. called Chinese Zodiacs now, but I used to post Chinese history. Okay. And people just wanted to know more about Chinese Zodiac. So that's when I started doing the monthly predictions. That's yeah. amazing. And it's also, it's so cool because I think so many people maybe know what, what their sign is or what their Zodiac mm -hmm. is, but not a ton about what that means. So where did your love of Chinese history and Zodiac start? Actually, when I was 11 years old, my parents sent me to a performing arts school to learn Chinese classical dance. So if you've seen performers with fans, ribbons, handkerchiefs. That was me. Oh, cool. At, at 11 years old, yeah. for six years. <laughs> okay, and okay. So, <laughs> Did you like it or was I, it? I loved it. Okay, I great loved on. it. Yeah. And because I learned Chinese classical dance, I had to learn its history and where it came from. Mm -hmm. And I, I was actually forced to learn Chinese. <laughs> So, yeah. um, but I did love it. I learned it for six years. I thought it was so interesting. Yeah. So during COVID, that's when I started posting. And because people wanted more mm -hmm. of Chinese Zodiac specifically, mm -hmm. that's where my love for Chinese Zodiac actually started mm -hmm. because of the audience. So yes. <laughs> sometimes they can get you going in a different way for than you real. thought you were going in. Exactly. So this year is the year of the dragon. Yes, that's that very correct. thoughtful dragon. That's really cool. What, is, what does that mean for the year ahead? Actually, the year of the dragon is one of the luckiest Okay. Zodiac signs out of all of the Zodiac signs. Mm -hmm. It's very funny because in China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, there was a 5% increase in babies. Like everybody wanted baby dragons. Oh, okay. It's like a Zodiac <laughs> sign, right? Yeah. The dragon symbolizes power, strength, nobility, and wisdom. Okay, those yeah, are pretty so good. So that's, that's really exciting yeah. if you are having a baby dragon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Okay, so speaking of babies born in certain years. Yes. I was born in 1989, so I'm a snake. Yes. What can, which I feel like I was like, it sounds very scandalous, but what, what can you tell me about my sign? Mm, your sign, you are a little impatient <laughs> only only because you want to get things done you know what you want but you're also very confident you know what you want mm -hmm. <laughs> and also you are very courageous yeah, as well okay. <laughs> oh i like that that feels actually very very accurate <laughs> now chinese zodiacs begin and end at chinese new year so what are some of your favorite t traditions around lunar new year Ooh, i honestly when it comes to lunar new year yeah. i love spending the time with my family mm -hmm. i'm actually going out of the country but i ma i made sure to come back on time <gasps> to spend Lunar New Year with my family. Oh. So it's all about family and just like being together. That's amazing. Yeah. That sounds like such a beautiful holiday. And there are so many kind of traditions mm -hmm. from food to the zodiacs to so many things yes. that spending with family is clearly so special. And I gotta say one more thing. Yeah. I also really do like those red pockets that we get during Lunar New Year. If you don't oh, know yes. what that means, we, uh, if you're unmarried, usually adults give us red pockets, mm -hmm. so that's why I've been unmarried. Even Honestly, I've been dating my partner for the last five years. I did not yeah. know this until recently, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I don't get married." Yeah. That kind of stinks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Helen, this has been super fascinating. So so wonderful. Thank you so so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, thank you. Happy New Year to you and your family. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.